everyone will see that what we are passing through in Nigeria at this moment is unfortunate, is unexpected, and is unacceptable. Because life is no longer meaningful to the animals that are killing other people. And these people are not from Nigeria. Most of them are from outside this country. But as of the same extraction, and that is the Fulani extraction, and they are the one behind all these killings. And you can see the impunity of going to the place of worship and pretended to be worshippers, and they killed more than 70 people, including children. Will you call those ones human beings? People who are interested in drinking blood and they want to live with us? I don't think so. Definitely, we must sit down and redefine the state called Nigeria. And we must agree whether we want to be one nation or we want to be divided into regions. So let each one of us go his own way so that we can have a better place to dwell in. And you will also agree with me that the federal government of Nigeria has failed in the area of security of life and property of Nigeria and Nigerians. What they said they will do during the whole of office is to protect the territorial integrity of this nation to protect life and property of Nigeria and Nigerians. But this they have failed woefully, and it is unacceptable. How will you tell me to accept idiots, ignoramus entering church and kill people who have gone to worship God? In the name of what? What have they done? What are innocent children? What have they done for you that deserve this you have inflicted terrible injury on us, sorrow and pain and agony. And we are groaning. Our heart is bleeding. And we are crying. But God is more than all of you. God will deliver our nation. God will deliver the body of Christ. And God will deliver even Muslims that you have killed. Because it's not only Christians they are killing. They also kill Muslims. Because they are not human beings. How many have they arrested? How many Boko Haram have they arrested? How many have been sent to jail? They are just giving us propaganda. They are just deceiving us. But God is bigger than all of them. And they must know that one day they will give account of their stewardship, whether they like it or not. We brought nothing to this world, and it is certain none will take anything out of this world. Whatever you do, people will say it, and when they go, when they leave office, we are still going to talk about them, even after their death. They must know that. We still talk about Abacha today despite the fact that he has died how many years ago. We still talk about Aulawa today. We still talk about Namdi Azikwe. We still talk of uh, Nkrumah in Ghana. We talk of Nancy Mandela in South Africa. How can we go on with that? Zoning is a very good thing for equity, for justice, and for fairness. But whoever assumed the position of leadership, our president must know that he's president for all. And injustice to one is injustice to all. We plead with the federal government, with the Mr. President, to please be alive to his responsibility more. And let people see that it's not protecting anyone. A criminal is a criminal. If the criminal is from the southwest, deal with him. He's from the northeast, deal with him. He's from the northwest, deal with him. He's from the south south. The same measure of punishment for all. And that is when this nonsense will stop. 